Let's begin the second part of our stem and leaf lesson. Look at your paper. There are four sections and we'll go over all four together. Number one, each student in Mrs. McGee's class receives an allowance from home every week. The results are recorded on the stem and leaf plot below. Before we can interpret those numbers, we need to first examine the key. According to the key, 1 line 2 stands for 12. Now I know how to go back and make sense of these numbers. For the first row, the stem is 0, and the leaf is 4, 5, 8, and 8. So I can interpret them as 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 8, and 0, 8. The second row, the stem is 1. And I'll write these numbers down, 10, 12, 12, 17, and 19. The bottom row has a stem of two and a leaf of zero. Now I'll go back just for clarity and cross off the zeros. The numbers are actually four, five, eight, and eight. The directions say which line plot represents the same data as the stem and leaf plot. Well, let me first write down the numbers represented by each one. Let's start with A. I have the number 4, 6, I have 2 8s, 10, 2 12s, and over here between the 16 and the 18, that's 17, then 18, and 20. Let me compare these to those from the stem and leaf plot. The numbers are similar. I have a four, I have two eights, but they're not exactly the same. I don't have a five in the line plot. So I'm gonna go on to B. We've got a four, and the X between the four and six represents five. Then we've got two eights, 10, two twelves, then we have another 17. It's the X between the 16 and the 18. Then we have a 19 between the 18 and the 20, and we have a 20. When I compare these number to those from my stem and leaf plot, I realize they're all the same. So I can go ahead and mark B as my answer. Now for number two. It says to order the numbers from least to greatest. So I'm gonna go through and start in order and cross them out as I go. I see the smallest number is 13 and I have two, and I've got two 14, so I'm gonna go ahead and write 13, 13, 14, 14. And then I'll just continue on like this, crossing them out as I go, and at the end, I'll check over it and make sure I didn't miss any numbers.
Now that I'm finished, I'll just carefully take a look at all of my numbers and all of the ones that are listed above just to make sure there's nothing up there that I've missed. Now for the fun part. The directions say to record those numbers down in the stem and leaf plot below. So I get to make it myself. The first thing I need to do is plan out how many rows I'll need. So I'm going to go through and see how many tens I have. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Given that, I'm going to have five rows in my stem. I'm going to go ahead and write down all my stems. One, two, three, four, and five. Before I go on to the next step, let me go ahead and fill out the key. I'll just pick a random number at the top and I'll use that for my key. 21 looks good. So 2 line 1 stands for 21. Now it's time to start the leaves. I'll go with my first stem of 1 and I'll write the leaves that go along with that. I have two 13s, so I'll write two 3s two fourteens, so then I'll write two fours, and then I have a fifteen, so I'll write a five. So that gives me, for my first row, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's go on to do the second row together, and then the, the next three rows I'll have you do on your own. Um, the second row starts with the stem of two, so I'll look at all my twenties, twenty-one, 22, 26, and 26. So I'll write that as a 1 for 21, a 2 for 22, and two 6s for the 26s. When the video lesson is done, I want you to go ahead and go back and finish number 2. You'll do the rows that start with the 3, the 4, and the 5. Number three is a little different, and you'll see why in the key. Let's look carefully in the numbers. I'll go over those with you, and then I'll let you pick the answer yourself. If you look at the key, look carefully. Three line four doesn't stand for 34 this time. It stands for 3.4, three and four tenths. This is a decimal this time. So when we go back to interpret the numbers in the stem and leaf plot, we need to think of them as decimals rather than tens. So the first row with a stem of 2 and leaves of 1, 5, and 5, that's not 21, 25, and 25. Instead, it's 2.1, 2.5, and 2.5. We'll go through and write down all of these numbers together, and when I'm finished, you go ahead and you choose the answer on your own. The next stem is three. Remember, this isn't a 30, this is a three point. So I'll go through and write the numbers, 3.0 or three, another 3.0, 3.1 and 3.7. Why don't you take a few moments and do the last row yourself? I'll wait patiently while you do, and when you're finished, I'll do them together and you can match your answers with mine and see how you did. Did you get 4.5? 4.8 and 4.8. If you did, excellent. If not, that's okay too. The best way to learn is to make guesses and even making mistakes is better than just copying and memorizing. So congratulations to you regardless. I'll leave it to you to find the answer to number three. You can do that now or you can do it after the video is over and take your time. Whichever you prefer. On to number four. We'll start number four together and then you'll finish it on your own. 
First and foremost, we need to look at the key so we can interpret the stem and leaf plot. According to the key, 2 line 5 is 25. Now that I know what the stem and leaf mean, I can go ahead and start listing the numbers. Let's do the first row together. The stem of 1 means 10. So the stem of 1 leaf of 0 is 10. The stem of 1 leaf of 3 is 13. Now you're on your own. You can finish the stem of 1 and then go on and do the, all the numbers in stem 2 and 5. Don't forget the parts of the assignment you still need to do. We finished number one together. Number two, you still have some more numbers to write in your stem and leaf plot. Number three, you need to choose the answer on the bottom. And number four, you need to finish writing all of the numbers on the line.